Video number two. Another minor quibble, but in this case actually I think it's a little bit more important than just a minor quibble. And it starts with your statements that show you don't understand what I meant when I was talking about the implication of the natural numbers from nothingness. And the reason why I know that you didn't quite grasp what I was saying was that you keep referring to it as me constructing the set of natural numbers out of nothingness. But this has nothing to do with construction. What I'm talking about is logical implication. And logical implication means it's not a matter of construction. It just means that it has to necessarily be so. And the other thing that I find troublesome in what you're saying is that you're talking about logical precedence. Because you accept what I said before, that cause and effect are not true representations of what, what reality is really about. And you try to get around that by talking about something like logical precedence. But that is a red herring. You see, I can understand where you're coming from. If you look at a statement like, a logical statement like A implies B, well, yes, you might think that that somehow involves a logical precedence of A over B. So in a logical sense, A was there first and B logically followed. But that's incorrect and the best way to understand why it is incorrect is to understand that a logical implication is equivalent to an OR statement. Yes it is. The statement A implies B, the logical statement A implies B, is equivalent to a statement that has absolutely no term of implication or no sort of hint of um, pre precedence and that statement is not B or A. Those two are equivalent. A implies B is equivalent to not B or A. The latter statement does away with any sort of sense of precedence. But they are equivalent. And that is important. So if your argument is based on a concept such as logical precedence, then your argument is fatally flawed.